Hi everybody, welcome to a new all of the above budget movie review. Now we're very deep into this Stallone month and I've been doing a lot of series and I, I think I'll do the last of the series and I'll maybe I'll do a standalone after this or more, I don't know yet, I'll see. Um, but this time it's uh, something that takes us more into modern times and it's a collection of action heroes called The Expendables. It's just fun action movies. You know what you're going to get. Um, well, the first Expendables movie shows you who they are, uh, led by Sylvester Stallone. Uh, we get Jason St Statham, Dolph Lundgren, uh, Michael Rourke. Uh, we even get a role for uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Bruce Willis and Jet Li. Uh, with a lot of people more in the cast like Randy Couture um, and more. I like the action. It's, it's not a uh, high grazing drama, it's just action. It's a nod to all the action heroes, past and present. It also collects uh, action heroes, past and present, because they're like your classic action heroes, like Stallone, Lundgren, Willis, and Schwarzenegger in here, but also new ones. Um, and it's just, it rips up the screen. It's wonderful. Um, and we couldn't even have a part one without having a part two. Expendables 2, it's, yeah, again, another action movie, of course. Uh, it, it knows what it is. it is. It isn't trying to be anything more. It isn't trying to be a dramatical piece. Uh, I mean, if you want to watch a dramatic story, you can watch Rambo first blood you can watch the rocky series if you just want a big body count action what uh just a quick popcorn or like you can leave everything outside you can watch the expendables and watch people's asses getting kicked um this time the the cost gets bigger um uh, we get a bigger part for bruce uh, we get a bigger part for Schwarzenegger. Um, and we even have Jean-Claude Van Damme, who was pretty forgotten uh, before this movie. And he is um, still... Uh, he didn't really make an impact in this one, but okay. Um, I like they used a lot of the same people. Um... Yeah, you know what you're going to get when you watch an Expendables movie. So, and yeah, just to even things up, they made an Expendables 3. Again, you know what you're going to get. It's a nice action movie uh, with Sylvester Stallone, of course. We still have Jason Statham in there, Dolph Lundgren, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, Willis stepped out and he is replaced by Harrison Ford. Uh, we get uh, Mel Gibson in here as the bad guy. Uh, Wesley Snipes. And uh, we also see the return of Jet Li again. Who I think wasn't or was... Oh, he was in the second one. So, yeah, I, I like this one. Um, it's just fun. It's goofy. It's action. It's... Yeah, like I said, with Expendables movies, you don't you don't go to an Expendables movie uh, wanting high class cinema. You want to go see an action movie where asses are kicked, things explode, people get hurt, people big people hit each other, and that's it. And that's all that it's providing. And we see some of the old gang make their glory I mean where do you get all those heroes in one movie it's wonderful um and for a time we thought three was the last one 
until uh, two years ago, Expendables 4 happened. And it still has Statham and Stallone and Lundgren and Couture. But uh, the cast gets filled up by 50 Cent. And we even get to hear a song by 50 Cent in this. So it, it's a comedy too. <laughs> It's also comedic. Those movies are about camaraderie and action and then tough guys. Um, yeah, uh, we get Andy Garcia. Uh, Randy Couture comes back. There's no Jet Li in here. Um, we get uh, Megan Fox. Yeah, as an action hero. So she can do more than just powder lips in the Transformers movies. Um, yeah, I like this one. Um, it's not the best Expendables movie, but it's an okay Expendables movie. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm wondering where they're going with the series after this. Because mostly when a series goes bad, the, the, the numbers, when the numbers drop, the series gets cut. So I'm wondering if there will be a part five, and if there will be a part five, who will be in there, or will be it, or will it be an all female cast? Because these days, you'll never know, or an all black cast, or an all gay cast, or anything, or a very diverse cast. We will just have to wait and find out. Um, Expendables is like an equal opportunity as kicking. Nobody's safe in these four movies. Um, yeah, we're almost at the end of this Stallone series, but there's more coming up. So um, I wonder, uh, did you like this? What did you think about the Expendables movies? Leave a comment down here. Um, yeah, you can subscribe down here and if you want to like it you can like it and i just want to say thank you for watching and see you next time thank you